we've got huge news coming in the United States the United States has just published the first official footage of that dramatic mid-air collision of a Russian Su-27 fighter jet with an MQ-9 Predator drone over the Black Sea. Take a look at this footage that has just been officially released by the United States Air Force. This is the first official image of the actual kill. What you can see in these images from a camera mounted on the drone's body or the drone's wing is this Su-27 fighter swooping down and then barreling up towards the drone and smashing perhaps right into one of its wings before the video footage simply cuts out. This is the first video footage like I'm telling you viewer of what has been described as the most dramatic aviation incident in the last many years. A Russian Su-27 fighter jet crashing into an MQ-9 Reaper Predator type drone of the United States military over the Black Sea just off the coast of Crimea and Ukraine. These are the first images that have come in. This is over the Black Sea. The ocean you see below is the Black Sea, not very far off the coast of Crimea, which is a part of Ukraine that had been uh, occupied by Russia since 2014. These are the first images. A huge amount of speculation has been rife for many, many hours about precisely what happened. And now in this official footage put out by the United States uh, 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 EU command in Europe, establishes what actually happened. Remem remember, the United States has accused Russia and Russian pilots of flying in an unsafe, unprofessional and reckless manner. And this piece of footage has been put out in some ways to establish those allegations. What you can see in these pictures is that fighter jet coming in from a distance, from lower down, it seems to be climbing towards the drone and smashing right into it. The propeller can be seen getting hit a part of the wing can also be seen getting hit. Certain damage being inflicted on that drone in these very, very dramatic pictures that have been released by the United States government. Now, let me also tell you that the, the, the Reaper drone is a large drone. It's not a small drone, uh, the kind of drone that you're perhaps thinking of when you think of the word drone. This is a large drone. It's about 11 meters long. It has a 22, uh, a, a, a 20 meter wingspan. It has a wingspan which is actually wider than the fighter jet that actually hit it. Uh, even though it's a much smaller uh, uh, aircraft than the fighter jet. The fighter jet is about 30 tons. This is about four and a half tons, uh, the drone. But this collision couldn't have been more dramatic. As you can see in these pictures, the propeller suddenly starts slowing down, which means the damage has been done. That aircraft has collided with that drone and sent it careening into the Black Sea. A $30 million fighter jet destroying a drone that is worth at least twice that sum of money. Uh, there has been no escalation yet by the United States in response to what has happened over the Black Sea, but the United States has pointed an angry finger at Russia and said this was unsafe, reckless and unprofessional flying by the Russian Su-27 pilots. The Su-27 is a fighter uh, 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 f from which is derived the Su-30, which is familiar to many of our viewers here in India. The Indian Air Force operates the Su-30, which is an improved and modernized version of the aircraft you see on your screen of the Russian Air Force, which is the Su-27 flanker. And that is the aircraft. It is said that two such aircraft were basically uh, 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 basically scouting and following this drone as it flew over the Black Sea, international waters, as the United States has said. The United States has accused, uh, uh, accused uh, uh, Russia of disrupting operations and harming a drone with no provocations at all. Russia has said that the drone was flying in a provocative manner. But in these pictures, what you can see very clearly is this aircraft First of all, jettisoning fuel. Just at that moment, you can see the aircraft jettisoning fuel from its tanks. Uh, 
the, the, the United States has said this was in order to try and paralyze the drone systems. So that appears to be confirmed by this very dramatic footage that has been published by the, and released by the United States military. And then the collision takes place and then you see the drones uh, systems cutting to black. So very, very dramatic footage that has been captured by the MQ-9 drone's primary sensor, which is an electro-optical camera sensor, has captured that Su-27 aircraft from a distance, releasing some of its fuel and dumping it perhaps towards the, uh, towards the drone and then smashing right into it.